Welcome back, everyone. There is a really cool free event coming up. Connection is the Cure put together a hugely successful concert and event last year. You may have gone yourself. And this year, organizers are hosting another really special night, the Hope in Mental Health, Suicide and Addiction Recovery. It's a night to connect, and it's coming up next Tuesday at 5 p.m. Joining us now to tell us more about the event, founder of Connection is the Cure, mm -hmm. September Frogley. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us, September. Yes, really appreciate you. it. Uh, first, let's get to the organization. Connection is the Cure, tell us about that. Yeah. So we formed Connection is the Cure after I lost my brother, Robert, to suicide in 2021. And um, just seeing the disconnect there through his journey of mental illness and addiction and ultimately his suicide, um, we wanted to give the community an opportunity to learn more and be educated to break down stigma and shame that surround these topics. So um, our main goal is to connect people to people and people to resources. Well, people may not know this, but September was actually a seventh hero last year mm -hmm. for sharing that story about her brother, a really emotional story for her and her family. And then making that into something that is really making a difference in our community. I know your brother would be so proud, September. Tell us about this event coming up Tuesday night because this is really special. It's free, it's open to the public, and we want a big crowd to come out because <laughs> we do want to get rid of the stigma surrounding these issues that impact so many of our families. Yeah, so we, it's, our community is amazing. It is, it, it really is. Stepped up beyond my expectations, beyond anyone's expectations. It's been so cool to watch. So the doors will open at five. We'll have like over 30 local resource booths so people can gather resources on how to gain information and education to manage these things that are going on within our homes and community. And um, then we'll have an onstage event, which we have awesome speakers coming yes. all across the board. And then Ben Fuller will be performing a um, free concert. So he's amazing and he has a really cool recovery story. Well, that crowd was just huge yeah. last year. <laughs> I know you said you still have chills thinking about it because it was so special that night. Yeah. So I think that's what's gonna happen again this year. Mm -hmm. And tell us how we can get involved again for people watching right now. So spread the word. Yes. yes. Tell everyone about it. We want as many people as we can get there so that they can have this message of hope and unity and um, the energy and the feeling in the arena that night was just one that was so empowering um, mm -hmm. and so hopeful. Yes. Yeah. And all of us have someone in our lives who's struggling. And so this is a great opportunity if you can't get that person to this event for you to learn how you can help them. Yes. Yeah. Because that's a big question a lot of people have. How can I help someone in my life? And you guys address that as well. Yes. Yeah, that had to feel amazing. Mm -hmm. So one more time, real quick, uh, when and where? So January 17th, mm -hmm. doors open at 5, and on stage will be from 6.30 to 8.30 Okay. Um, at the Ford Idaho Center. Very and this nice. is a night to connect. Doors open at 5. It's free at the Idaho Center. Bring your family. This is a family-friendly event, and just enjoy everything it has to offer. All right, thank you so much, September, for joining us. We appreciate you and all the efforts you've put into this over the past couple of years. This thank is a wonderful you. event for our community. Thank you so much.